In this example, we will determine whether or not there is a significant difference between two methods for measuring lead concentrations. The first method is the hot plate method. The second, the digestion block method, is more efficient, but we must determine if it produces statistically equivalent results. We will use the paired t-test to do this. We must first calculate a t-value from the results of both methods and compare it to a number found in the t-table. Here we have samples from four coins in duplicate and also a standard reference material. The formula to calculate T is the average difference between the two methods times the square root of the number of samples, which is N, divided by the standard deviation of the difference values. Let's first create a column for the difference. Type an equal sign to start the formula. It doesn't matter which way you subtract, column B from column C, or C from B, but you must be consistent. So B2 minus C2, hit enter. Find the bottom right hand corner, click and drag down to the last sample. Next we're going to find the average, so we can type equals and use the average function. Highlight the samples. Hit enter and next is standard deviation and we do the same thing using the standard deviation function. And using the same samples. And n is the number of uh, samples that we have, which is 9. So now we can calculate t. So t equals d12, which is the average, times the square root. We can type that formula. the square root of n divided by standard deviation. Hit enter. The result is 0 0.73. 713. Now we need to look it up in the t-table. This is table 3.1 in your book. Notice that the table goes by degrees of freedom and the confidence level. The lower the confidence level the smaller the range. The degree of freedom, or df, is n minus 1. So for n equals 9, the degree of freedom is 8. We will use a 95% confidence level, which is the most common. If a confidence level is not specified, always use 95%. So from this t-table, with the degree of freedom of 8 and a 95% confidence level, T equals 2.306. Now we go back to um, our calculation. Type in the T value just so we don't forget. And we can see that it is our calculated T is less than the T we found in the table. That means that at a 95% confidence level, there is no difference between these methods.